Big up to DK saying, saw Matisse's vid, the name Habits angers you. Big up. Not even that, it's just this tapped fan base. How is it even a debate? Should we boo Kai Havertz on his return to Stamford Bridge like he's a fucking king coming back to his old kingdom? What are we talking about? Man like Jose Mourinho, our greatest manager of all time, got booed. And like Lampard got booed coming back with Man City. Who else? Matic got booed. Um, Who else? Who else got booed? Off the top of my head, like William didn't get booed. Louise, he got booed as well. What other ex players? I know there's a string of them that I can't remember from the top of my head. Um, well, Mount, we know Mount's going to get booed. Mata didn't get booed. Mata's the only one that got that didn't get anything, and it, it was fully deserved. Like Mata never got booed. Hazard never played under a crowd, but he was never gonna get booed anyway. But those two are different. Those two are different. Um, Jorginho got booed in the away end. That's another one. Jorginho got booed. Who else? Who else? Trying to remember off the top of my head. Because Maratta, another one. Well, Maratta deserved it. Maratta deserved it. Regardless, the point still stands. The point still stands. The context applies to every single individual and the way that they left. The reason why Petr Cech doesn't, doesn't get booed is because Petr Cech is a Chelsea legend. Petr Cech left with grace and he left with Roman's blessing and, and with the fact that our goalkeeping situation was already sorted. Kai Havertz is not the same. Kai Havertz is one of the biggest disappointments this football club has ever seen. The guy left this club in 12th place, most minutes played, most offsides, most big chances missed in the league. And he left to join Arsenal, all for an extra pay packet and all for UCL football. So why are we even having this debate? Oh, I know, because this fan base is still rimming his asshole over the fucking open goal. What has happened to this fan base, bruv? Oh, we, we should. And then there's the other argument. We, should, we shouldn't cheer or boo him. Have you ever been to a football ground? What were you talking about? Like, like they're just going to be quiet. You're either going to get cheered or you're going to get booed. Stop with this sentimental bullshit just because you still have a personal attachment to a guy who ratted the football club out. What are we doing? If I hear a considerable amount of applause for that guy at any point, we are finished as a fan base. We are finished. I will lose all respect for our match-going fan base. Well, whatever, whatever respect is remaining, I will lose it all. If that shit is to happen. Because we're not a serious fan base. I know, I know exactly what we're capable of. We're capable of clapping Havertz but will boo the fuck out of Jorginho. A, a guy who's done more individually and, and done more as a team for Chelsea than Havertz has done in either combined. And like, that would be fine. Boo Jorginho. I don't give a shit. He's at Arsenal now. Do what you want. I don't care. But keep it consistent. I do not want to hear for Havertz but when it's Mount, it's, who's that twat who comes from Portsmouth? Why are you chanting about him then? Why are you chanting about him then? He's left too. It's stupid. It's stupid. We shouldn't cheer or boo him. How about you dickheads make Stamford Bridge hostile for once in your life? How about you do that? What, what kind of atmosphere does it send to the opposition when you're literally clapping their players onto the pitch? Fucking dickheads. The only way you should be chanting his name is if he bags an own goal and we want to nick Arsenal's chant to take the piss. Like we did when David Luiz got sent off um, against us in 2020. That's the only way it would make sense. God forbid I hear any applause for him. God forbid. We will be lost as a fan base and we will never be able to be, re to be recovered. Never. We will never recover from that. So I'll prove my point. We are our own worst enemy. If we 
if we, if I even hear one clap, do you know how much I hated it when this guy would run through one on one, miss, and then I hear some idiot behind me is like, oh, leave Havertz alone. He won us the Champions League. How about you go nosh on his a little bit longer, you pricks? That's not even a pause. The way this fan base used to suck him off every single week. And now he's gone and joined a rival. They are still doing it. Still doing it. Let me go through the comments of that Pies tweet, by the way. Let me go through the comments of that Pies tweet. It, it was driving me mad. Should Havertz be... No one. Like, you lot don't know how to make a serious atmosphere if your lives depended on it. Ridiculous and embarrassing to even entertain the idea for the player that won us the Champions League. Great. Lawrence, you're, you're my guy and everything. Your bro every single time. But brother, you're going to have to hold Gummy. this one. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. Ben Jacobs. Boo the guy who won Chelsea their last UCL. I don't get this under this thing that one player won an entire Gummy. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to hold that. Should be booed either way. Fair play, mate. Only if we boo Matt. Absolutely not. Whatever we think of him as a player, and despite him going to a rival, he is part of one of our great seven nights as Chelsea fans. Gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Not for me. No. All right, cool. Gummy. Yeah. yeah. Matisse. Oh, brother. No. Matisse, you're better than that, bro. What is this? What is this? Gummy. Yeah. Yeah. CFC Daily, sorry, Gummy. my friend. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the fucking idiots don't know how to make a good atmosphere to save their lives. And, and how do we constantly, constantly give one man credit for winning a trophy when we won it with the least goals conceded in 25 years? 25 years! No team has conceded less winning the UCL than us. But no, let's not credit the defence. It's all about one guy who scored an open goal. One goal in the entire knockout rounds. Fucking horrific. People say wasting time and energy. We should focus on backing the team. Backing the team also involves going against the opposition, you know. What is this fucking copium? It's ridiculous. You lot don't know how to make a good fucking atmosphere. Part of that is by making the opposition feel unwelcome. How hard is that to get? Oh, fucking hell. We better be on job as a fan base. We better be on job as a fan base. 